So Stray 59 was an MC-130 Echo model that was assigned to the 1st Special Operations Squadron and back in 1981. Uh, tragically, uh, we lost that aircraft following a multinational joint exercise in the Philippines. Uh, we commemorate that loss every single year with the Stray 59 Memorial Flight and we're happy to continue that tradition. What we traditionally do is we try to go to the estimated coordinates of where that aircraft was lost and spend a little bit of time uh, flying over the area. We'll put the ramp and door of the aircraft open and we'll traditionally drop a uh, memorial wreath onto the coordinates of where the aircraft uh, went down. It's a very cathartic experience for our air crew every single year. This year we're focusing on the people aspect. Uh, so every member that's flying on board the aircraft for the memorial flight is actually representing in both rank and service of somebody that was actually lost that day and including our one survivor. For instance, our joint partners, the first of the first Special Forces Group, they're representing the Army people that we lost that day. Uh, our HSC 85 Navy brothers and sisters, they're representing the Philippine Navy personnel that we lost that day. And we've reached out to some people uh, across the base to represent our New Zealand and Australian partners uh, that we lost that day. This is more than just a first Special Operations Squadron memorial. We lost people from across the joint force and amongst our multinational partners. The allies that we have in this region were as important 41 years ago as they are today, if not more so. And this year's memorial flight is an opportunity for us to acknowledge that when we go to battle, we are going shoulder to shoulder with not only our joint force partners, but our Pacific partners in the region as well. And there's no daylight between us.